perform convolution between the given two continuous time signals. X of t is given as 2 between the interval minus 2 to 2 and is 0 otherwise, which is a rectangular function. Impulse response H of t is 4 for the interval 0 to t, which is another rectangular function. We start with writing the formula of convolution integral y of t is equal to minus 2 plus infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. To start with, we change the index of x of t and h of t to tau respectively. Followed by that, we perform folding operation on the h of t function that becomes h of minus tau. So, h of minus tau now is the folded version of the given h of t function. After folding operation, we perform shifting. So, now it is h of t minus tau. The time intervals of the folded and shifted rectangular function are t that corresponds to 0 of h of minus tau and t minus 2 that corresponds to minus 2 of h of minus tau. In order to ensure whether we have correctly selected the time intervals, we can substitute t as 0 in both places so that it will become 0 and minus 2. It should be same as a folded function h of minus 2 time instances. After shifting operation, folding and shifting operation, we start performing, we start performing the multiplication and integration. For the first case, both x of tau which is fixed and h of t minus tau as they don't overlap for the time interval t less than minus 2, thus the output remains 0. Further, we start sliding this h of t minus tau function over x of tau. So, in the second case, for the interval from minus 2 to 0, output y of t will be x of tau into h of t minus tau where we have substituted amplitudes of both the signals and perform the integration for the overlap region which starts at minus 2 and is up to small t. So after performing the integration and substituting the limits of integration output becomes it, it into t plus 2 and this output will remain same as long as this t reaches up to 0. In a third case, since h of t minus tau has now completely entered into the area of x of tau for the interval that is t between 0 to 2. The integration will therefore take place for the overlap region which is from t minus 2 to t and the output of convolution is 16 after substituting these integral limits. This output will remain same till small t slides and reaches up to 2. After this, in the next case, in the next case, as h of t minus tau is now coming out of the area of x of tau, therefore, output y of t the convolution integral output will be computed for 
the region for the values from t minus 2 up to 2. Substituting the amplitude levels and the limits of integration, output is 8 times 4 minus t. This situation of overlap will continue and hence output will remain same till this age t minus 2 reach up to 2. That is in terms of interval of t that goes up to t equals to 4. In the last case when h of t minus tau has completely come out of the area of x of tau there is no overlap this happens when t is greater than 4 and hence the output remains 0. Thus, the final output of convolution integral is collectively written as y of t as 0 for t less than minus 2. It is 8 times t plus 2 from t minus 2 to 0. It is 16 that is constant that is for 0 to 2 value of t from 0 to 2. It is 8 times 4 minus t for value of t from 2 to 4 and finally it is 0 for t greater than 4. Noting this output, we can sketch the output y of t as it resulted into a trapezoidal function.